Hi guys, it is Thursday, February 8th. Um, I wanted to make a video about this a couple days ago, but this week has been absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm in the middle of a pain flare, uh, which always makes my exhaustion worse. Plus, husband's been sick, school was out for a snow day, and some other stuff along those lines. So, getting to it now. Sorry. So, I went to a urogynecologist on Friday, uh, which my OB rec uh, put in the referral for me to go to him. And this guy is awesome. I'm so happy I get to see him. And it's really nice going to a doctor that is more specifically trained in my anatomy and more familiar with what I'm going to be going through because different part, everyone has a urethra, but a urology and all that going on, but not everyone's gonna need the same or respond to the same things. Uh, so they did some testing, uh, it took a couple hours while I was there Lots of fun, several catheters, super fun stuff like that. They did a cystoscopy, which is imaging um, inside the urethra and bladder. It was this giant thing they used. It was, it just, that didn't feel good at all. But I got to see uh, while the guy was, while the doctor was putting the camera through, he had the screen turned so that I could see it as well and was explaining everything to me. That was really cool. Yes. He wants to show off his dinosaur mug. Um, it's from The Good Dinosaur, one of the cutest kids movies ever. But came to find out the reason I'm having issues is I have a lot of bladder spasms, which I'm not surprised by at all because I get muscle spasms all the time. My muscles are what's holding my body together because the connective tissue isn't pretty much. So there are a couple choices. I can leave it alone, but I've been dealing with it for a couple years. If I was fine leaving it alone um, and dealing with it, I wouldn't have mentioned it and gotten in to see this guy in the first place. Um, and so then another option, he gave me three options aside from leaving it alone. The first one is medication. Second one is Botox. And the third one is a pacemaker. So with the medication, he said he didn't recommend that for me because I'm on so many as it is right now. And because some of the side effects would exacerbate some of the health problems I currently have. Love this doctor. So many people are just, would, so many doctors would rather prescribe medication even before any of the tests he did. Which I'm fine. I will take all the meds I need to take. But there's something that's really nice about a doctor who wants to find out why issues are happening. And then treat the issue and consider my other health information because I've got plenty of it. I have a literal binder that I carry around with me with my health information. And uh, so the, he, he didn't recommend the medication. Now with the Botox, that is a couple Botox injections directly into your bladder to uh, help, I guess, partially paralyze the muscle, make him relax. 70% of people that works for, which is a pretty, pretty decent rate for uh, something, especially for a field that's so new, uh, the urinal gynecology. So that's a decent success rate. Yeah, it's your dinosaur. And the problem with that, though, is that 20% of the people who get that done, their bladder is completely paralyzed. And they have to, I'd, I'd have to self-cath. If I, if I ended up with a totally paralyzed bladder, I wouldn't be able to uh, urinate on my own, and I'd have to self-cath four times a day between several days and several months. That's not a very attractive offer, <laughs> in my opinion. To do that, I'd rather have, I'd, I'd have to be last ditch effort. Um, I'd have to be a lot worse than it is to risk that chance, because it's a one in five chance. That's a pretty high uh, rate of it happening. <laughs> You're funny, buddy. And uh, then the third option is the pacemaker well it's not a heart pacemaker which is what i thought at first because he was really confusing me i've never heard of a pacemaker anywhere but someone's heart uh and this one though goes into your tailbone uh the nerve that goes from your tailbone to your bladder and it works on that so if it were to be placed he put in a small lead 
and to next to the nerve in my tailbone just below the spinal cord that goes to my bladder and it would work off of that. Uh, for a week or two I'd have a external battery pack and um, if I like it and it works for me then they would insert a permanent battery pack. Uh, I'm guessing this, the way he explained it, it sounded like they'd put it basically in your butt cheek. Um, and it lasts for seven years. And he, I like this idea the most, and it's the one that he's kind of leaning towards the most because of the, the medication and side effects and everything like that with that one. And because the Botox, he said, he said he's sure he believes, doesn't think I'd have any issue with the cathing, but if we can avoid that, uh, that would be great, especially be, plus Botox is really, really expensive medical uh, necessity or not. And with my health insurance, I have to pay everything out of pocket until I hit my deductible. It doesn't cover anything <laughs> except for like well checks uh, and the stuff that they have to by law. <laughs> um, so I'm really leaning towards the surgical version, surgical route of it, uh, but I'm making myself sit and wait before making any big decisions because it is and it's surgical and it could interfere with other types of testing down the line. Um, certain types of imaging, it it is gonna have metal components in it. And Harold, little dude's trying to play my Zelda. He got it on the menu. I, I don't really want him to kill me because I'm trying to beat the game. Uh, but, is it, he got me distracted. Um, Oh, I'm going the sur I'm I'm really leaning heavy to the surgical route, but I'm making myself kind of you know stop and wait, pace myself, take my time to make the decision because it's not something I want to rush into, especially because it comes with side effects of its own, um, and will limit some of the stuff in the future that's able or or could affect different things in the future. Um, so that was a pretty productive appointment actually. And I really like that doctor. And I, I really appreciate the fact that he told me it's my choice, whichever one I want to make. I can make, choose any of them. He's fine with that. Um, but once I asked him what his recommendation was, that's whenever he started telling me. He, the, he did tell me he didn't recommend medication before I asked, but I asked him which of the two he thought would be better between Botox and surgery. So if I get that, I'll sh totally show off my... Um, pacemaker if and when I get that done the external battery pack because that would be kind of cool uh, plus he said if it doesn't work that's the one that's pretty easy since they do the external battery pack first just pull the lead and then I can try a different route uh, but that this one would be the safest for me personally so I may end up in the next couple weeks to couple months with a pacemaker um, that it's basically implanted into my ass, which personally I think is pretty freaking funny. Um, but the one thing too, I almost forgot this part, something my doctor, um, the, the doctor said, I asked him about comfort uh, because I need to be able to still use my wheelchair and sit down a lot and everything. Uh, I can't, even staying upright for too long makes me feel like absolute crap um, and I can't walk and go places whenever there's a lot of walking. I have to use my wheelchair. Um, and when I go to these appointments, any of these appointments, this appointment with him was in a hospital, so I have to use my wheelchair for that. And he said that because of where the battery pack is implanted, it's actually a lot more comfortable and easy to deal with than it is with like a chest one because you know the sternum is pretty bony, there's not much fat there. Uh, I'll be able to feel it if I try, but I don't need to. All right. Okay. Yeah, little man's doing his own thing. Bye. If you liked this, uh, please hit like. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit subscribe.